Hey YouTube, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to talk about how to fight off multiple opponents in Fortnite. As you are probably aware, fights in Fortnite are rarely fair one-on-ones. Even in solo matches, with the new slipstream system and all the different kinds of mobility, a lot of the time you will have to fight multiple people at once. So today, I'm going to share some tips to help you come out on top in those unfair situations. So whether it's in solo, solo versus squads, duo versus squads, or any situation where you're outnumbered, this video should help you win more. Now just as a disclaimer, I do want to say I was looking for some more relevant clips to use for this video, like clips where I was doing solo versus duos, or solo versus squads, but almost half of what I did have has been corrupted, and really GeForce is being annoying right now, so the clips that I have may not be as relevant, but I just wanted to say that at the start, um, because hopefully the audio and the tips will still be useful to you guys, um, regardless of what gameplay I have in the background. Alright, with that being said, just want to mention that I have timestamps linked in the description below if you want to jump between different points of this video at any point, um, but other than that, let's get started. Okay, so the first tip I have should take place before fights even start, when it's solo versus duos or solo versus squads mainly, and that is you need to read the situation before you go in. At this point in Fortnite, you could be the best player in the game, but if you're picking your fights against 4 sweats or 4 tryhards who clearly know what they're doing, you aren't going to have much of a chance in that fight. So what you have to do before the fight starts is get an idea of the skill level of your opponents. If you've played Fortnite for a while, you should be able to get an idea of their skill level just by watching them from a distance. A couple tells about a player's skill level could be their skin, their movement patterns, what guns or items they're using, or how they're building. So if, for example, you hear a bunch of combat shotguns going off and a massive build battle above you, you probably shouldn't jump into that fight expecting to win. Now you aren't always going to get the luxury of choosing the fight, sometimes other people are going to make that decision for you, so this tip is situational, but before you engage in a fight, get a good reading of what is going on so you can make smarter decisions and put yourself in a better situation to win that fight. Alright, now the second tip is similar to the first because it happens before the fight really breaks out. This tip is that if there's any distance between you and the enemies and you've decided this is a fight you want to take, the first thing you should do is try to deal as much damage as you can before the fight becomes close range. This is actually a pretty common strategy, but I don't see it talked about enough. Obviously you don't want to engage multiple enemies if they're all on full health, so what you should do before the fight starts is try to deal some damage from a range. Ideally, you would be doing this with either an AR or a sniper, but if you do go for a snipe to open the fight, you've got to be pretty certain you are going to hit it, because after that first shot, everyone is going to be coming at you. Whatever way you end up deciding, definitely try to get some damage in before the fight gets close range, because that is going to make things a lot easier later on in the fight. One last thing with this tip is when you decide to use your AR or whatever weapon before the fight to deal some damage, you have to be careful about them shooting back at you. Remember, if we're talking about going up against multiple enemies or a squad here for example, if you shoot at one of them, there are going to be four that are ready to shoot back at you. So you either have to peek quickly and then get back to cover, or create an angle for yourself that allows only one of them to be able to shoot back at you. This tip kind of segues nicely into the third tip, because the third thing you have to do after the fight starts is isolate enemies. We've all been there after dying in a fight where you've dealt 400 damage in total to a bunch of different people, but you haven't downed a single one. So I think we can all agree that what you don't want to do is tag everyone on their team for a little and then get rushed by all four and die. The hardest thing about fighting solo versus squads, or just fighting outnumbered in general, is when they all come rushing in at once, and you're so overwhelmed to the point where there's literally nothing you can do to fight back. So instead, the best way to get through these fights is to isolate each player and take them down one by one. Now there are many ways to go about this, but I'll just share with you guys how I try to pick my fights outnumbered. The first thing you want to do is go for the lowest health opponent. So if you were following that second tip and you were able to get some damage in before the fight starts, go for the person you damaged first. Or if you saw someone else get sniped or hurt before the fight, make them your first target. Also, remember once you down someone, it's really important that you finish them. Normally finishing is more of a scumbag move and shouldn't be your first priority, 
but if you're outnumbered, you really don't want to have to worry about somebody getting rezzed and coming back to the fight, so I would finish anyone that you down. Now as you go on with the fight, who you take is probably going to be less and less your choice, and how the fight plays out will determine who you have to take on, but generally the next target should be whoever is closest to you, or whoever is the most exposed. Really the big point here is that you just need to move quickly from enemy to enemy. So pick whoever you want, but make sure that you can down that person quickly if you're going to target them. Alright, that leads me to the fourth and final tip I have for fighting outnumbered, and you've already heard it a little, but it is to finish the fight quickly. Whether you are in a solos getting targeted by two different players, or in a solo versus squads game, you've got to finish your fights quickly. Remember, the longer the fight goes on, the more time the other squad has to group up and overwhelm you with just their sheer numbers. So in these outnumbered fights, you, your go-to weapons have to be whatever can finish your opponents quickly. You probably aren't going to have time to use stinks to slowly wear them down, for example. Instead, you have to pull out your shotgun and get ready to build and edit fast, because you're going to have to bounce from one player to the next in these kind of situations. And if all else fails and these tips aren't doing it for you, I'd recommend brushing up on your basic editing and box fighting skills, since those are what is going to save you in these kinds of fights. Alright, that is going to wrap things up for this video. Hopefully these tips helped you all with fighting outnumbered. If this video did help you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, I'd like to thank you all so much for helping me hit 10,000 subscribers. That's incredible, and at this point, I don't even know how to thank you guys, so stay tuned because I will be releasing a poll asking what you guys would like to see to celebrate that. Alright, that's all I've got, so thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Jetpack? Someone's got a jetpack.